శ్రీపాద శ్రీ వల్లభ చరితామృత్ చాప్టర్ సెవెన్ ద క్వశ్చన్ బై శ్రీ నరసావధాని శ్రీపాద ఎక్స్క్యూజ్ మీ ఐ ఆమ్ అన్ ఇగ్నోరెంట్ వన్ యుఆర్ లార్డ్ దత్తాత్రేయ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ యుఆర్ ద సోల్ రిఫ్యూజ్ ఫర్ ఆల్ లివింగ్ క్రియేచర్స్ యు కైండ్లీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ టు మీ హౌ క్రియేషన్ ఈజ్ ఫార్మ్డ్ శ్రీపాద రిప్లైడ్ గ్రాండ్పా there are 88000 sikhs in heaven who are householders they have the potential to take rebirth they stand as seeds for propagating dharma again from the undefinable power of the universal soul a small fragment took the shape of brahma for the creation of the universe water that came out gradually from paramatma spread out everywhere from the vigor of the super soul many crores of golden eggs were formed this brahmanda in which we are living is one among them when the inside of the egg was filled with gloom the brilliance of paramatma was personified and he became known with the name aniruddha as he illuminated the egg with its magnificent lustre he was termed as hiranyagarbha surya savita and paranjyoti and many other names in the vedas the karana brahma loka is the residential place of the four faced brahma sri nagaram which is famously known as the vidya sthanam and the mola prakriti sthanam is above it above that maha kailasa is there and the karana vaikuntha is above that sanakasanandana and other sikhs live in ambavati puram of janaloka siddha and other sikhs live in jyotishmati puram of mahar loka indra and other deities reside in amaravati puram of swarga loka called as suvar loka the celestial architect viswakarma lives in radantara puram of bhuvar loka which houses stars and planets of the globe grandpa there are two divisions in buloka The division inhabited by humans is called Bhugola. There is another one known as Mahabhumi. Mahabhumi is situated at the south of Bhugola at a distance of 5 crore Brahmanda Yojanas. Marchaloka means Bhuloka and Bhuvarloka. This includes Mahabhumi also. Pathalam means Atala, Vitala, Sutala, Rasatala, Talatala, Mahatala, Pathala. Roughly, these are called Swarga Mathya Pathala. Mahabhumi is situated below the earth in where we live. It is in the form of a rising circular ground in the middle. Therefore, the illumination from the sun and the moon constantly light the surface of Mahabhumi. As there is always light, there is no determination of time. On this great earth, seven seas and seven islands exist. Jambudvipa is situated here only. In the beginning of creation, everything was inundated with water. As Prajapati did penance for commencing creation, a lotus leaf appeared on the water at that time. Prajapati assumed the form of a wild boar and took a dip near the lotus leaf and reached the Mahabhumi. From that Mahabhumi, he dug with its sharp tusks and separated some mud and brought that wet mud to the surface of the water that mud was placed in the lotus leaf then it was named as prithvi grandpa this is called earth the earth is at a distance of 5 crore brahmanda yojanas from mahabhumi mahabhumi has an extent of 50 crores yojanas Jambudvipa which is in Mahabhumi has 9 continents in it. Deities reside in Daivakanda. In Garbhasya Kanda reside spirits. In Bharata Kanda reside human beings. In Saraka Kanda dwell Siddhas. In Gandharva Kanda dwell Gandharvas. In Purusha Kanda dwell Kinaras. Demons live in Tamra Kanda. Ekshas live in Seru Kanda. and panagas live in indukanda just as jambudvipa exists in mahabhumi another jambudvipa exists on earth 
even before i incarnated in pitapuram the incarnation of sri pada sri vallabha arrived on the mahabhumi 100 years in advance the globe of the earth is however like a lemon fruit mahabhumi is called datri and vidatri bhugola is called mahi urvi kshiti prithvi and bhumi grandpa i am now going to tell you about nether worlds listen ghosts live in atala guhyas live in vitala demons live in sutala and spirits abound live in rasatala yakshas reside in talatala mens live in mahatala and serpents live in patala kubera resides in vitala he is the lord of nine treasuries he is the treasurer for the brahmanda he is the ruler of the northern side his capital is alakapuri in vitala Maya lives in Yoginipura which is on the western side of Meru in the same Vitala. He is the architect for demons. He constructed three townships which can go high in the sky for Tripurasuras. Yamadharma Raja rules Vaivasvatapura in Sutala. He is the lord of the southern side. A river of blazing flame is at the entrance of that town. This is called Vaitarani. people having merits can cross this river easily but it is very difficult for sinners sri man narayana murthy resides in vaikuntha nagaram in patala he is here with all his splendor he lives with the spirits of patala vasuki and other superior serpents he rests on the coach of seshanagu this is also called karya vaikuntha situated in swetadvipa Below Mahabhumi seven nether worlds exist they are called saptapatalas Atala loka is inhabited by devils in Alakapuri of Vitala loka Kubera resides in Yogini pura of Vitala loka Maya lives along with demons in Sutala emperor Bali lives with his demon servants Yamadharma raja lives in Vaivasvatapura sinners suffer their punishments in the various hells here swetadvipa vaikuntha is in patala narayana lives here please understand clearly that bhugola and the mahabhumi in bhuloka are different grandfather narsavadani to experience the philosophy of datta you will require some lakhs of births know that datta is the only one magnificent brilliant illumination that spreads over countless millions of brahmandas and transcends them know that the same lord datta is actually before you as sri pada sri vallabha jai guru datta digambara digambara sri pada vallabha digambara 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 sri pada vallabha digambara 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 sri pada vallabha digambara 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 ಿಗಂಬರಾ ಶಿಪಾದ ವಲ್ಲಭ ದಿಗಂಬರಾ 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 ಶಿಪಾದ ವಲ್ಲಭ